He's the most powerful man in the world with many challenges to face, but last night President Obama's main job was to be funny. I have to confess I really did not want to be here tonight, but I knew I had to come. Just one more problem that I've inherited from George W. Bush. <laughs> In the audience, a mix of celebrities and journalists who paid $200 each to be there. Dick Cheney was supposed to be here, uh, but he is very busy working on his memoirs, tentatively titled, How to Shoot Friends and Interrogate People. And it wasn't just the president's predecessors that were the butt of his jokes. Hillary Clinton also got a mention. We had been rivals during the campaign, uh, but these days we could not be closer. In fact, uh, the second she got back from Mexico, she pulled me into a hug and gave me a big kiss. <laughs> told me I'd better get down there myself. President Obama had this to say about a low-level flight by the presidential jet over New York. Now, Sasha and Malia aren't here tonight because they're grounded. You can't just take Air Force One on a joyride to Manhattan. I don't care whose kids you are. And he said this about the future. Finally, I believe that my next 100 days will be so successful, I will be able to complete them in 72 days. <laughs> and on the 73rd day, I will rest. <laughs> Thank you very much. For a man who'd already Thank joked you. he'd rather not have been there, the audience nevertheless seemed delighted he was. Victoria Gatenby, Sky News.